that's right. Yeah. And as I said, without without uh, the, the, the the external publicity, without them seeing. I mean, the importance of the fact that you were there is so that you could see and hear the arguments that was uh, I was trying to present and then what the judge responded in relation to those arguments. Now, fundamentally, he has chosen to skip over the fact that a hearing, a previous hearing, uh, which should have taken place, took place without the person who was to be heard being there. And he's skipped over that as it's as though it's of some uh, irrelevance. Now he claimed that the reason why that might have happened is because I accepted all the elements of the charge uh, which was brought against me, which is totally untrue. You know, this was the act for which I was committed it wasn't denied in that sense. However, it was it was um, put in this way that I only acted that way because I've been denied all previous lawful means of getting into court. So therefore I was attempting to justify my action. Now the, the law itself says that when a person can justify their action for uh, breaking the law, then the law excuses them. As long as, a, for instance, we know that recently the uh, Christian, sorry, the new uh, Justice Secretary has now made it absolutely clear when a householder can, if you like, batter a burglar for entering their home without, without invitation. So in that instance, the householder who had just battered a burglar would not be saying, I didn't do it. They would be saying, I did it because of. So in the same way, uh, so as a result, you can't say that a person um, uh, accepted the full elements of the crime, etc., 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 because they offer a reason why self-defense necessity all these are actions where you're not going into court and saying I didn't do it you're saying yes it happened as a result of this I was under attack so so the, the reasons I gave for my action um, was that I had previously tried every other lawful means of getting into court and as a result of having the doors slammed in my face I felt I was left with with, with no option but to do something so brave, um, well, importation of cannabis, that would get me before 12 ordinary members of the public so that I could say exactly why I did this. It was up to the jury to decide if my action was justified. But that, uh, I did, yes. But the judge took away from the jury the, the, their right to decide for themselves because he told them there is no defense of justification in English law, which was a total misdirection. Ah, oh, that's the point you're arguing. Absolutely, because even on that uh, uh, ground alone, it was ground for an appeal. Um, and also, did he say to the jury, I don't know what happened? No, absolutely. Did he say you only have to, to make your judgment on the fact before you? Well, you don't have to consider any of the anterior circumstances I, or... Uh, I think he did. As a matter of fact, he, he went as far as to say, look, for the reasons he has put forward, he seeks an acquittal. Because if he's right, no court or jury can stop him or convict him of anything. Now, what I was trying to present in there was the very same issues that I presented before the jury. For instance, part of my complaint was about a Mr. Justice Toulson who presided over a matter being prosecuted by his brother or his brother's law firm. Well, that's biased, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and, and from those proceedings, for which I was not present, I had no legal uh, representation, Justice Toulson issued a warrant for me to be picked up off the street and brought straight to prison yeah. without charge, without trial, yeah. without ever coming through a court of law. Now, again, uh, the judge said to the jury, if that was true, 
then no court or jury could stop me or convict me of anything. I present it. The evidence is there, the documentation confirming that that judge, Mr. Justice Thornton, did that, is there in, in writing. Another thing, I, I, I talked about uh, approaching several MPs and, and even up to Buckingham Palace and receiving a letter back from Buckingham Palace written on behalf of the Queen saying Her Majesty was sorry to hear about the sad death of your son and sends her sympathies. Unfortunately, she cannot intervene directly. However, she is instructed that your complaint be passed to the head of the judiciary at the time, Lord Irvine. That is documented. It's fact. Yeah? So, so this judge, remember, has said, if that is true, if these things have happened, and I have not had any redress, and, 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 and that was the cause of my action, then no court or jury can stop me or convict me for anything. Until, of course, there is redress. And if I just digress a little, in fact, this right is not only confounded in the Human Rights Act under Article 7, it's there in Article 61 of the uh, Magna Carta of 1215, uh, which states that the where, where, the, where the Crown, if you like, has violated a right of an individual, the community can come together and do whatever they want, it says. Yeah? And, and it, it says you can seize our castles. The only thing it says you must not do is harm our persons. And then it says, after we have rectified the situation, you must agree to return to obeying the law.